If you like to shop in a store with plenty of options, this may be your perfect place. The name of the place is Johnson Manor, which is named after me, and um, we sell a little bit of everything. I really try to have something for everyone and not everyone has the same taste, so it kind of creates a good vibe, I hope. Elizabeth's eclectic shop has thousands of items in stock, from the practical to just plain fun. So holiday candles are a big seller right now for us. So we have the Fraser Fir, which most people know and love. A local artist, Carol, we have her charcuterie boards, which are beautiful. And then bottle brush trees, which we use a lot of in the store. Every year, I feel like we get the same people that come back and add more and more to their collection. With so many things to choose from, Johnson Manor is worth the look. Hopefully we can help them find a unique gift for somebody and that they'll have a little fun and maybe get a laugh too. We have someone with a sweet tooth on your list. Well, we know just the place. This is Fidalgo Fudge Company and we sell our own fresh fudge that we make here in house. I like to think that my list of fudge flavors is endless. I try and use whatever I can get my hands on that tastes good. Trista took over the longtime Anacortis business in 2014, but has put her own spin on this classic treat. I like to think that my fudge is really rich and smooth and creamy, and I use butter and cream and sugar, and it's a little less sweet than most fudge. That is the holiday cheer gift set, and that is all made in house here. Island special, so it's chocolate, vanilla, and caramel. It's by far our bestseller. I feel like I hear all the time it's the best fudge anyone's ever had before. So if you think you know fudge, Fidalgo fudge may change your mind. They're the sweetest shop in town. Finally, our last shopping spot is right next door at Ink and Wool. The ink is for the screen printing, which is Christy and her husband Dave. Which they already had a company and then I had a knitwear business, so that's the wool. We mostly have hats and neckwear cowls. I do all my own design work and then all the knitting. As for the ink? It started out with my husband, Dave. He does the silk screening. And Justin, her husband, does the silk screening. So it's a dude duo who does the silk screening for us. All of the art on their products is original and designed by them, making ink and wool as one of a kind as the people who run it. People love knowing that somebody handmade almost every item that we have in the store, and we pride ourselves on that. We're doing this out of passion, and it's a store full of passion and a store full of love. And I want everybody to come in here and leave feeling excited and excited that things are still thriving in your local yeah. community.